right now I am on the way to the Atlanta Kickback, um, which is at the convention center down in South Atlanta, East Point, College Park, you know, near the airport. And it is basically a book convention for um, predominantly black, black authors and um, all of their books. And so I'm really excited about it. They seem like they're a pretty new convention. I think I read they're four years old. Um, which definitely shows because the convention's only for four hours. It's from 12p to 4p, um, which really sucked for me because it I had something to do during most of those hours. So I'm just getting there, and I'll probably have like 45 minutes of it left. So we'll see how much I get to walk through. I didn't. I don't really have anybody I was trying to see or go look at. I just really wanted to go support because it's black authors. So we'll see what happens. So I made it over here down to the Atlanta Kickback, which is hosted by Book Chicks. Um, I will link their info down below in the description box, or at least their website. So, let's see what we got. I would also like to point out that I look a hot mess today because I was not about to try and look cute for my exam. I didn't put makeup though. books but most of the books here are romance and I hate romance or you know just like strictly romance or erotica and so that's really hindering what I actually want to see so I am done at the Atlanta kickback we said by 556 book trips you're welcome It just started to rain, which is not a good combination for these books that I bought. But that's okay, because I am parked in front, which is awesome. You're welcome. Careful in the rain. It didn't take me very long to get through it all because like I said, most of it's romance and you know, you can always tell the romance cover from anything else. So I made it through the romance sections 
pretty good and I think I hit up all the fantasy tables which was like three of them and I did buy those books so that was good so I've got some books from here and I'll probably post them all on IG and Instagram but right now I need to make it home because it's raining and it looks like a storm is brewing and my leg hurts my leg hurts a lot from all the walking I've done today so I am back from the Atlanta kickback hosted by 556 book chicks um, I just kind of wanted to end it all off of my final thoughts about it so I would manage to get these books while I was there like a little baggy a couple little like wristbands and stuff nothing too major um, it's definitely, I'll do a video of, of these books and book hauls and stuff by the authors. Um, but it's nothing too major. It's definitely smaller than BEA or BookCon from what I can tell. I haven't been to either. Um, but it's definitely smaller. There are a lot, a lot of romance novels, if you didn't hear that in my video. And I'm not really a romance novel person, so I managed to find basically the, um, I managed to find the fantasy the fantasy tables because those are my favorite so I managed to get those and I'm gonna read those but what I like about it is that it is um, put on by a group of black women and it represents or the people who are there are all black authors black booksellers all that kind of stuff um, or really they're all black authors um, selling their books so they aren't they're not giving away books there's no arcs there's none of that it's they're there to sell their books to you um, there's no games no festivities or anything um, they don't even have like a bag like a tote bag in the beginning which I think they should really give a tote bag but I mean the event is free or at least it was free for me maybe because I got there so late it, I, but I never saw a ticket price um, but I, I think there should be a way to to maybe even charge ticket prices or um, have some kind of tote bag because here I was trying to carry my books around, trying to carry my phone, um, carry all my stuff around as I was making it through all these rows and rows and rows of, of tables and things like, and vendors and people, you know, selling their books. Um, they had, they have a huge list but sometimes it was still really hard to tell where everybody was because there's not enough different genres of books I feel like to separate the books by genre because like I said it was basically a room of romance novels and so that made it kind of tricky to do that so it was hard to find um, books books that I cared about so I had go around wandering wandering see what I like you know try and check out the covers and just kind of keep moving because I got there so late but um, it's a small event you can check out their website I'll make sure to link it below um, to figure out next year's dates and you can follow them on Instagram which is not Atlanta kickback as I would think it'd be called because the whole event is called Atlanta kickback it's actually 556 book chicks which is not what I would imagine searching for um, for their Instagram page um, but I did have a lot of fun just because I got to see a lot of new authors and a support of and support some black authors so I can't wait to read these and add these to my, to my ever-growing TBR pile and yeah I think that's it for Atlanta kickback link all their information below but yeah, make sure you hit that. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, you know, try and go to some more of these book events and bookish things. And of course, I have a ton of book reviews coming up. But make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit the little red button below. And so you can find out what's next. But until next time, keep turning the pages.